Anaerobic digestion is a process that degrades uh, organic waste and also allows the recovery of biogas and the recovery of nutrients which can be used as a fertiliser. There was a need to move away from landfill treatment of these uh, organic materials. Landfills have a number of challenges. There is uh, emissions uh, both to the atmosphere and groundwater in soils. Instead of utilising energy, anaerobic digestion provides energy back. It provides the nutrients back. Anaerobic digestion is a process that uh, nature uh, delivers, but in order to industrialise that process, a lot needs to be known. Uh, so that's one of the areas where we've concentrated our work to understand how can we drive the process to our end targets. The beneficiaries of our research varied from government in terms of policy uh, and regulation, uh, but also obviously the industry. The impact of our work relates to uh, AD plants and ruby digestion plants on the ground. UK has now over 600 odd plants that is built in the last 15-20 years. We have seven plants in Wales that are now recycling about 150,000 tonnes a year of municipal food waste. The knowledge I've gained from working with USW through the research projects is huge. It means that we're producing the maximum amount of gas from the food waste that we're coming in. So there is efficiency from the very beginning of our process all the way through. If there is a hiccup, we can identify where, what has caused that hiccup and we can put that system right straight away. The knowledge and the interaction with USW helps to do that. Because we've established methodologies for food waste segregation uh, that Wales has implemented, Wales actually has achieved significant targets in terms of recycling of municipal wastes. So that's, that's actually a strategy that has now been taken on board by England and a number of European countries. And uh, so Wales, in a way, is pioneering uh, some of these uh, methodologies. Oh,